Right, we're going to play a few holes. Matt's hitting. It's, I've got five, it's I. 319 yards. You're just playing for position. I'm going to think slightly differently today. You're trying to get rid of a long left shot that we discovered in a little gap test, didn't, are you? Yeah, well, yeah, that's. I just want the little fade off right. The long lefts are the better strikes. But they're but so they're much the, further on than your average, aren't they? Yeah, they're destructive and long, aren't they? Well, they're like 20 yards longer than your average, which makes it quite a panicky round. Yeah, it? so I'm going to try and cut and stuff today. Okay. With my eyes, not my driver. Yeah, yeah. So straight to a yard of draw. Yeah. Now, but it's sort of interesting because you've hit an iron there, you're going to be in bigger trouble than if you hit a driver. Think, I think that that's fine, don't you? You reckon that's past the tree, do you? I don't think it's past, but so I'm going to be behind it then. <laughs> no, I, I think I d by the looks of that, I don't think that that's, I think that's past the bunker. Okay. So I shouldn't be. Your too, eyes work, mine don't. I shouldn't be too close to it, hopefully, but I might be wrong. Oh, you're driving. Do you reckon it isn't going to go too far, is it? Uh, it's warm. And that is an Exexio. 280 front. You've been carrying it that far. Not first shot. <laughs> I just want to hit this to see where it goes. Like, what actually is the line? I think it's these the trees that you said I was behind. It's like right over the. If I'm two right yards edge. right of them, I'm okay. I'm oh, like, yeah. That's like perfect. Middle to right side of green, yeah, I would say. Yeah, okay, let's see. About the left. It's like a tricky chip from there. Yeah, it's a bit bottomy, but I'm liking the draw shape. That's what I want to keep seeing with my driver. Yeah, you had that in the last time we played. It was good, wasn't it? Yeah, it's just having the confidence to aim right when I've been push cutting a lot at the start of yeah, yeah. this year. I say this year. Is it even a year? <laughs> Right, we're just about to play a few holes, me and Matt, here at Honiton, and we're gonna use this shot scope data here that shows that lots of people are missing short. When I looked at TorPro's data as well, from a certain yardage out, they were missing short a lot as well. So we're gonna use the shot scope data and our shot scope watches to try and make sure we push more to the back of the green. So take that yardage, see if we can hit a few more greens in reg by choosing a different strategy on our approach plays. The other thing as well, we did a little study with Matt to find out where his misses was, so where he misses those greens with certain clubs. And we found he did have a tendency to have long left of his bad shot, which is really quite destructive. So you're gonna hear Matt talking a little bit about how to manage that as well in shot shape, those kind of ideas. So hopefully we can get you hitting a few more greens by watching us maybe missing greens experiment. And it should be a fun one. Just warming up before Matt turns up. Let me know if this helps in those comments down below. If you're a subscriber here already, make sure you've got the bell icon turned on if you don't want to miss our videos. And if you're not a subscriber, maybe consider subscribing because then you won't miss out on any other great videos we do trying to help you hit more greens and lower your scores. Right, Matt is slightly blocked out, so he's going to do You're like right, an... right, bruh, even with your dodgy eyes. Yeah. <laughs> um, eight iron, little chippy run. 60 to the front. 60 to I've the front. Seven iron. seven iron run, little chippy run under those hangers, and it all feeds down to the hull if he gets it moving. Come on, keep going, keep I going. expected him to fly it over that rough. Hit the bank. Oh yeah, that's good. It's got down, isn't it? Yeah. Good shot. Good. Right, this is, I would say, Matt's chip from under the trees. Probably easier than this. You've got about five yards. Yeah, I'm just going to come off that slope again. Yeah. It's just sat right up. So now it's just going to go left. I've thrown it too far. I'm just hitting the green and having a putt. But yeah, I just threw the brake a little. Yeah.
That's a good putt up the hill. Yeah, pick it up. Very good. Oh, that has some slope on it, doesn't it? It does, yeah, around the hole. So I am properly aiming that out the right. <laughs> <laughs> the driver, you're just going to try and bomb, I guess. Yeah, just keep trying to do what I've been doing, really. Yeah, nice shot. Actually, a little fady, wasn't it? Little neck ball. Which was I, it a necky one, was it? I keep wanting to go that side. Yeah, you just want to not hit the toe, don't you? I don't want that duck hook. Toey dipper. It's good. It's good seeing you driving. All the bombers on saw fade at these days, don't they? Well, there's a lot of faded drives and drawn irons on the big boys, as the pattern it seems at the moment. Yeah. flight that wasn't that's it? That's a good flight yeah. Interesting to see if that gets across or not because that's right on the it's limit. Bouncing. I reckon that's bouncing around the back of it. Yeah. Good shot. So Uphill. if you look what's happened I've done him. On the on the angle it's actually very close. Yeah I agree it is very close. It's, I reckon I'm a yard ahead yeah. and I ripped mine like I was flat out where Matt hit a bit of a necky cut but quite happy to get up there. 224 middle, 238 back. And it's into off the left. Into. into. Slightly off the left, yeah. It's back yardage all day long, isn't it? And it's maybe slightly uphill. It's what's like the back What's the back yardage? 235, 238. Now I challenge you to get over the back of this green with a realistic approach. Yeah, I mean, like... Free wood? Like, well, this doesn't go more than... 250 and it's into wind and uphill okay like if i do my little necky cut thing yeah so you're definitely playing a back so he's using slope uphill into the breeze to choose the longer I yard how much it's up slope it is i reckon it's I four reckon yards at most there. four yards yeah i reckon because it goes up and then it goes down <laughs> downhill. <laughs> it is downhill. Yeah, because it goes away, it's doesn't down, it? Down one. Down one, there you go. We were five yards out with my prediction. Yeah. Not that I'm going to be five, five yards out so from looks here. uphill, doesn't it? Yeah. So it says 244 on there. That might be hedge, but I, I think I got the buzz. Okay. I'm going to go with this and aim up the left. And it's very long it. today, isn't it? neck all right just a bit of a rank strike it would have if it oh, oh that was a, that's on the fairway look. oh yeah it's coming across <laughs> <laughs> if the strike hard. was anything better it would have been a nice little feathery cut though wouldn't yeah, it? it would yeah well it's 218 middle 234 to the back i'm getting here um i'm gonna hit a 19 really hard because i don't think i'll get anywhere near long with that yeah. Trouble with the 16, my next club could be perfect, but could be, uh, it like bombs. Okay. You, you're just thinking the 16's never going long. Well, it's two, 228, I should update it, 228 back. I can carry that 235. Yeah, careful then, isn't it? That's like, I have to feather, and I just don't feel like a 16 degree's got much feather in it. Yeah. I'd rather have this come up 10 yards short and try and chip and putt myself. I quite like that. Straight to find your head, straight down. That's fine, that'll chip it down, isn't it? Down the green. So that's 80 yards out. He basically walloped this tree and it shot across the fairway. He's in a better position than me. 
which I'll show you in a second from where the pin is. But I would say better for having a chance when it close, parts should be made. Oh, is it one of his rubbish wedges? <laughs> oh yeah, lovely. Short right. His wedges are, uh, need a little bit of work. So pin, look, right back left. So if I knew this, it would have probably affected the club or how I played the shot because I'm now stuck up on that tee. Downhill, horrible line. I've got all this rough to try and bounce it through to then try and stop because the green runs away. So if I knew this, I'd have, I did, wouldn't have aimed up the left as much. I'd have been like bunker fine, front of the green fine, run it up, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna hit, I got 52 and a 58. Oh, this is horrible. That's gonna bump a 52 and hope I get through. Oh yeah, this has got some striking needed. Sit, 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 sit. Not bad, really, from that lie. Not bad at all. All right, Matt, now chipping up. Needs to get up and down. Oh my word. Maybe a little bit too much sunbathing, bruh. <laughs> little birdie chance. Oh, I pulled it. Holy short ball. I guess we're playing, are we playing match play, I guess, for this not to go one down? Yeah, that's a very good, uh, good old five. Good save, very good. Thank you. So, from where I am with the camera, it's 212 front, 238 back. This is a, I'm going to play the front yardage. Yeah, downwind. Because I think the pins are good 20 yards on. So this is like a 205. Yeah, and it's a 212 to the front and it's downwind. So, this is where I'm going to flip now to a front yardage. Yeah. So, you basically need to win it at 212. Any good? Just up the left, just missed the bungle. Yeah, that's good. Should be good. Left side of the green. Yeah. Nice shot. Three hybrid. Four. I've got the 22. So, yeah, okay. Which Similar is like a 200, 209 ish. Yeah. 220 at a max. So it's never going to go long unless I get a bounding bounce. Might be short. It just allows me to give it a wallop. Even slightly off the right, I'm predicting. Down and off the right. Yeah. It's definitely not on the left. Is it? No. Oh, I towed it. That's just left of the bunker. Yeah, Toey Turner. Yeah. Get out of there. Oh, it's bounding. That's fine. Oh, I hate that miss strike with a hybrid. Be a rinky. It's not. A, there's no need for it, you know. <laughs> Right, Matt's it. a good tee shot. I've got a now up and down. 58, bit of a height to try and stop. It runs away, I think, on the green. It does a little bit, yeah. Ball sat again right on top of this grass. Ooh, That'll right. stop. Oh, I thought that was going to check a bit. It did check a bit. Yeah. Right, this for a two would be a great two on this hole. Serious pickups, this. Yeah. Out to the right, we'll come back. Needs to be a bit more aggressive. Oh, add the line. It did. Oh, should we see a little tap in? <coughs> you can mark, obviously, but you've got the nice line of the flag throughout you there and everything. Yeah, shouldn't miss these, should you? Well done. It was given anyway. Right, it's not to go one down then. Don't feel like I've played that bad. Golf's, yeah, I've... Uh, golf's hard, isn't it? That part on the last has saved me a bit. It's a good, good save. Oh, oh. that's it sure. 
<laughs> oh, hit the ball harder than that. you got to hit the ball harder than that, haven't you? What iron are you hitting, sir? I've got four. Yeah, you trying to hit the reiki draw again? Yeah, that worked quite nice last time. Yeah, I agree. Don't know if I hit the down slope, though, because it was a very long way down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll see now. You've got driver. I don't mind that play. I'm just going to whack it over these trees. There's more room left than I have ever realised. Yeah, it's very good. Just need to draw a little bit more, but with that club open, that's good. Because yeah. last one you drew it right round, didn't that's you? That's a good one. That one I actually think is a better shot than the last yeah. one. Uh, yeah, I agree. So I've been doing the Pro Visualizer on here just to experiment. Not yeah. to, and um, when you start measuring how wide this green is at the front, it's so narrow. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to be hitting anything in here, is the thing. Like you, you do the spread, spread with the averages on the pros mm. and they're missing the green from 150 out on this hole a lot. Yeah. Green's only like 11 yards wide at the front. So the line really is almost over this little tall one in front of the group behind, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to draw That's it. That's probably right side as well of the green. Reckon? Yeah, of the green. So over this tall I one here would work. I finish on the top tall one here, it's good. That feels wrong. It does, yeah. It feels so wrong. But when you get down there, you do realise. So that's going to be right. Oh, I ripped that as well. It's going to be in play, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's in play. That's probably. I reckon that's right side of the fairway. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see. It's such a better flight, isn't it? Yeah, that's loads better. Because I'm basically trying to go here rather than getting this way. Yeah. Hitting that high block. I'm basically to me it feels like I'm going there. Yeah. What's your yardage, Matthew? 137 middle, but I know the pin's 130. Playing, so 135. It's down five, down six. So it's a front pin, it's a front more, isn't it? Add a few yards. But the front is super narrow, and I'd rather hit long like and put uphill. The back. Yeah. yeah. To play so a middle yardage, then, isn't I'm it? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go a smooth wedge. Which is what yardage? Probably about 135. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. And hopefully not add loads of loft and miss your right. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be common. That is a bit of a pattern, isn't it? Oh, that's, that's lovely. Yeah. It's just a very good shot. Is it long enough? That's, uh, it's hard to tell. It looks probably seven, eight feet short, I reckon. <laughs> good shot, though. Right, I wasn't far enough left. There is the right hand bunker. So I'm behind the trees with 61 to the front. So I'm going to just have to like pump it forwards. Got to go further left. Right, we need a bit of luck. Quite thick rough. Lots of branches. Back of the green here would be better than missing short, but that's not easy in itself. Oh, okay. to stop. Yeah, back to the green, definitely. Thank you, some putting up the hill. Little bump and runner. Nicely done, pick that up. So interesting again, isn't it? You're not past the pin there. Not past once, and it pits probably right on the middle yardage. Yeah, say. yeah. So 130. Yeah, and you're now putting massively downhill. Like everyone should be basically going to the back of this green, isn't they? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I said in my approach. If I can just whack it to the back, I'm chipping up the hill. If I tangle in those front bunkers, it's going to be tricky up now. So you're having to be very defensive because you're thinking of the next one, but you won't need one. That's a two up. 
deserved that. Played the hole very nicely. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, so I'm going to play. I'm just going to play the 178 yardage middle. I get. What was I in my seven yesterday? Can you remember? No. One. Because that will spin slightly less and go a bit further. So I'm going to sit. Okay. <coughs> Because I need to remember to take five and five yards. You're doing off. like an easy six. I'm gonna do like a normal six and get away from my pulley cut, uh, pulley long ball. Right. I might even hit it off the floor to get a yeah more bit of a more little spin. low strike. Yeah. Spinny cut balls. I like that strategy. Yeah. Seriously thinking about my game today. <laughs> yeah, it's fun though to experiment. Yeah, with, yeah. Right? Such a good effort. I just don't think you've read the wind either. The wind has to be slightly into off the right. Yeah. I reckon that was cutting up into it. Yeah. If you think about the par five, it's par going. Par five was straight into it. Yeah. Enough. So the par five is over there. So it's coming off the right and slightly into. I think the wind's here. Yeah. And you cut that, and then you just did it loud. Yeah. So I'm 177 middle, so really I would hit a 7 and carry it 170 and just accept I'm 7 yards short. But I just don't, this, I hate this hole. <laughs> because it's right in between for me all the time. I don't like having to manufacture with this tree on the left. Yeah. So what I might do is just hit a bomb draw 7 iron. I think, yeah, that's a good play. You've done that before and it's worked. So. Might just try and hit that like, out to the right draw. Hard seven line. I just don't, this ain't going long. Hot oh, feels into the wind now. Not feeling that. Just didn't chat. Really sling it and I didn't really get it. Yeah, front right. Yeah. Right on my limit to rip that anywhere back there. Yeah. You just take those trees away on the left. I'm in a little cut hybrid six iron. Nice. So I've come up short. Good two putts needed. But as misses go on these tough par threes here on it, and not bad. I would say Matt hit the more aggressive, better shot. But because he's probably landed pin eye and not, and the fringes aren't going to accept the ball like the green would, mine's landed and stop, he's now way past. So again, this is where playing front, middle and backs and trying to get to the backs, you need to manage. Because if the greens are small like they are here, you... which way are you going? If I go super aggressive and land it right, I could pretty much get... Yeah, you could land it there, couldn't you? Yeah. So if I go behind the pin, you'll see he is basically... So I'm going to end up on that fairway over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so risks come in here. Yeah, I it. In the bunker. It's a great example as well with Matt not reading the wind off the tee, his miss. If he hit it in that bunker, he's up and downing more than he ever is from this bunker and this left side. He's just struggling now. It's a very good shot though, but uh, that for a four. Be a good two putt. If I hit it, it would have been a good one putt. Cool. I'll, I'll give you that. Thank like, you. That's good enough for me. Thank you very much. I would say it's good enough for me too. Yeah, well done. Very nice. I'm gonna have a putt, just because why not? For, for the fun. What's interesting as well, now we like doing stats, Yeah. actually like makes you care about it a bit more too. Oh yeah. Like for me anyway. Yeah, totally. Like I'm not obviously overly bothered about improving and stuff, but just having the stats around, like it's another thing to beat you on, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> it is. It's no different to having a lesson and coming out inspired to work on something. Yeah, exactly. 
That's a good four in the yeah, end. I know. <laughs> I'm in a seven. Yeah, I'm in a six because I'm happy to just whack it at that wall. I seem to be able to do it. I probably won't now. I've said that. Wind's definitely off the left. Helping off the left, a fraction helping, yeah. but not much. That is such a rip. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just perfect. Yeah, like even that, you're just gonna that those trees are gonna be looking at you, I reckon. Yeah, but I'm far enough back to yeah. not even care. I'm in a like nine I'm, or wedge straight over there. I'm going. You like, can go left of that, definitely. I'm going super duper away from the trees. Yeah, because you always get yourself in, shoved up the right and not enjoying life, don't you? A, bit of a tears I get myself in, <laughs> don't I? A bit tangled up in a bit of a tears. Even that's at the right. Yeah, that, but that's absolutely but it's, fine. Yeah, it's the right club. Yeah. That's the shape I want it. Too. Yeah, I like that shape. You're not having that short, long dispersion doing yeah. that. Right, Matt's far enough back to get over these trees. They won't even uh, kind of have anything to do with his shot. I'm looking straight at the pin. So this is what he was saying about the trees. Look, they're there. You just need to be further back. He's playing a 140 yardage. I'm going 140, I'm gonna hit a nine. Okay, so I'm 1439 to the back from here. So he's about 147 to the back. He's playing a back yardage because it's uphill and that pin looks like it's near the back. Cut a little. The trouble is. So that was up the left. I didn't see it drop. You might have been the yeah. view by. So if he is pin high, he has no shot if the pin is at the back. Right, I'm playing 145. Um, so it's 136, sorry, from here to the back. So I'm gonna hit a thump nine. Let's see if I can get it up there. Yeah, it's on that tier at the back, isn't I've it? I've got a really funny lie here. A bit above and below. So uh, it's, uh, it's like that. Yeah, feet are up, slope, So I, down. this is up, but that is down. That's always quite funky, that one. I wouldn't want to be in a free wood from here. <laughs> I'm going a bit off the left. Oh yeah, do you see the way the club went through the ground there? Yeah. Looked like it twisted a little. It did. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Totally went like that as yeah. the heel was getting in. All right, Matt's coming low by the look, so he's at a thick-ish rough. It is hugely downhill. So I've gone past the pin, tried to play back yardage, hit back yardage, but I didn't think I could get it back there because I'm also putting down the hill. Coming up short on this one is the, oh, see, he's now got a tricky putt as well. If you finish where I am short, you are putting up the hill more. There's the old lack of confidence with the short game, that shot selection. Yeah, it was uh, tricky, because the other thing as well with that chip, surely if you go high and you just go long, like you've got a harder shot now, yeah. than if you're that distance past. That distance past, you're running it up the hill for have a go. This one, you're still worried. It's only that it's match play that will save you. I'm surprised my 9-iron got this far up. Are you? Yeah, I played this yard thinking it would be where the flag where is. The flag I'm is, always yeah. about that far short. <laughs> I did rip it, but this is downhill. Oh, I'm not hitting them hard enough. Pick it up. Happy with that? Yeah. Oh, I'm hitting them harder, aren't I? I'm expecting that to really roll away from me. It's not. Quite well, didn't turn at all. So pick him up, so back to all square. Just saying, two of my bogeys have been long laps. Which from the gap testing Thing that we did for another video yesterday showed that you had that as a as a disaster shot in there. Yeah. I just need to slap my irons more. Yeah, you do. You, just, you don't need to be. You don't need to rip them. You need. You don't need to be going from slap to bomb. No. Basically, it's the point, isn't it? Oh, 
that's a block. Uh -oh. Wasn't concentrating properly on the swing fork there. That could be a... I think that's a long grass, sir. Huh? Oh, I've towed it. Oh, that's going to be up the f whatever else, 15th. That's it, the tree as well. It's the safe miss. <laughs> So I'm just in the long grass behind me and I'm hacking. Matt's over on the other fairway, look there. If he's got a line, he could chase it. He looks like he's got a long club in his hands. We're a little bit uh, social distancing on this one. Oh, he topped it. I think he said he topped it up the fairway. This is a lovely toppy. So I am not going very far here. I'm hacking out of this. You can actually get your own bag here. Oh, is this coming out of here? Oh, get out. Ouch. Right, first shot on Matt. We're making a right hash of this one. It's a par five. We should be trying to pick up. Just a little up the right. A little up the right, so he's overcut. I'm not going to get it down, but uh, I'm sure we can chip and putt from there. 49 front. I'm going to play downwind. It doesn't look far back. Good hack out. That was pretty deep. Nearly hit my bag. Flip my three wood on my backswing on the tree. Yeah. <laughs> Topped it. I feel like I got too much club here. I got an eight, but how can I get it a nine and get a little eight? Such yeah. a bad shot. That's with me. Yeah, awful. With me. Better. Good shot. That a skanky par. I had so much club in my hand. Good <laughs> shot. Yeah, well, it did take quite a big bounce, probably off this. Yeah, but you wanted to be landing it short, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Little bump and run, that's good. That's very good. I'll give you that. I'm feeling the old. Uh, You know, don't use silly clubs, chipping shops. Yeah. You can have that, you can have that. Pick it up. <laughs> there's a, I don't know if the stats on the videos yet, but there's a good one coming up, which people will like. Is there? Yeah. Club usage. Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen that one. This is given, but he's having a fun putt. Well done. Thank you. Stays all square, I think. At the bunker with a bit of a cut, or you know, no, you're not cutting actually, are you? Tall trees in the back, a little bit of a draw. Yeah. Try and get as uh, close to the bunker on the left as possible. Because if you get it kicking left, you kind of sneak around the corner. T further back into the wind, I got no option of going over or anything. Concentrate on my shape this time. Oh, a bit out of the bottom. Right shape. Yeah, lovely, wouldn't it? Finishing There's... on that bunker. Oh yeah, it's over. Yeah, it could be perfect now. That's a good one. Nice. Just a bit out of the bottom. Oh, it's good. Oh yeah, it could be good. Stay there. Little left, but could be perfect. Good it, wouldn't it? It was pretty good it, yeah. 110 middle, which is pretty much where the flag is, but it runs away. So I'm gonna play a 100 yard shot, match a little up the left. So I'm gonna give my 58 like a good old thump. Give it a little 52 as well, actually, but I'm gonna give 58 a thump. Yeah, front right, pretty average really. 
well, below average, I would say. Chip and run under the trees from that. Trees just a little left, coming down to this green. Oh yeah, that could be good. Oh, that could be really good. Great effort, that. Stop, stop. Good shot though from there. This is a great example of my wedge just being so poor. Poorly played and should have played the back yardage. Back yardage, it wouldn't have gone over the back. And I'll be putting up the hill. I've got a long putt now right down the hill. Just really bad play. Like you combine bad execution with bad um, management and you get double bad, don't you? Yeah. You know, how many people... Oh, read the putt. Oh, um, how many... That's a great putt. <laughs> Good way. <laughs> I, I was not looking at the holder. Uh, that's wrong. How many of people watching are hitting bad executed shots like we all are? If you're putting on bad decisions as well, how many shots are we giving away? Double whammies. It isn't all over the place. It's nice, get in. Oh, oh you little swine. Pick it up. That's a better chip. Pick it up. Thank you. So this is for a half where you're chipping out the trees and I've got a perfect shot in the middle of the fairway to the hole. Yes. You had to be very stupid at golf. <laughs> Saved. Whoa, that's a big save. That, that. Is, that is a save. That. Well done. But if I had a free putted that classic amateur thing, I think, oh, I free putted the 15th. Yeah. No. You need, need to work on no. the putting. <laughs> no, should the percentage of free putts are there going to be high? I should yeah. have hit my wedge anywhere back here. Yeah, get on and make those get my wedges dialed in. It's not a three putt, it is a free putt, but it's not the problem. No. You're right. going free wood because you're scared of it in it out of the course. I'm going free wood because it gets narrower the further you go. What if you miss left? Mm, I'm good at that. Oh, there's lots of ring then. Well. <laughs> Am I in shot here? Uh, uh. Yes. Wind off the right, isn't it? Yeah, all right, it's your either. Come on. No, what well, you want, but I'm seeing that as a very. You just whack it over these left trees and hope you pull it a bit. It's the block which I'm scared of, but I'm going to just still. Wind off the right. See it? Yeah, right at the end of the trees. I can't see a thing. Very bright, isn't it? Yeah. Is it in play? Yeah, it's fine. Good. Did it draw or not? Dead straight. Dead straight. So I guess it was a slight fade. Yes, I wanted to turn that left. Yeah, that's good. I mean, it's far too far left, but it's it's just room there. That's the miss. Yeah. Right, let's see if I can manage this way. 77 middle, 75 middle. Pin looks middle, 84 back. So again, that's my 58. Went about 84 yards on the last. The only thing I'm working in now is obviously I do have a bit of rough. So I might get a, like a poppy flyer. So I'm going to play a 70 yard distance. Just a nice 58, really. Oh, it's a little right. Not that that well, though. Is it long or not? Might have gone wrong, not sure. Let's get up there and see. Did it pop out of that rough? So Matt's just pitching again through the trees. He tangled up on the left. Coming to this flag. I'm over the back, which we'll talk about in a second. Yeah, that's a good shot. Up the left. Just keep going. Yeah, nice shot, Matt. We'll release out the rough. So mine's just popped over the back here, which is annoying. I have to get a little fiddly chip. I can't see any pitch mark. So if I landed the green. It would have stopped, it would have done what I wanted it to do. It would have landed around here. 
and release kind of to the where my bag is and what have you but I think I've hit the fringe because I pushed it the fringe is it doesn't stop and it's just bumbled over the back so happy with my yardage even though the result is wrong not happy with my direction Into the grain, I couldn't really slide through it, you know what I mean? Right, this to go one up, one to go. In yeah. fact, we could play 18, can we? Dead straight. Might as well play 18. Two to go. Dead straight in. Oh, pick it up, pick it up. Stays all square. Your lie. That's fairway ball that. That was a swing left face left lovely. Happy with that though, not going on the road. Bloody me and that road have <laughs> had some proper falling out. Oh here you go. Fairway ball. Yeah, we swapped sides. You might actually be in the right hand and the wind's moved it or not. Good shot though. Oh no, that's fairway. Yeah. Great shot. Good line in from there is the best spot to be. Yeah. Right, we're 102 middle. 127 is back. Actually, sorry, we're 114 middle. Um, I'm hanging it really hard, 52, 103 front. The front of 52, see so if I can get it back there. Good line, I'm not sure it's going to get there though. That's yeah, decent, I think. Certainly below the pin, chipping up the hill which I like, or putting I should say. Up the hill, I should come over here more often than that, it works quite well doesn't it? 76, very good drive. I'm a little short up there putting up the hill. Pretty good shot though that. 58? 58. Good, isn't it? A bit long. Nicely played though, up the left. Nice control. Yeah. Ah, oh, this is nasty now, Matthew, isn't it? Like the more I think about my shot there. Yeah. Um, like I could hit that exact same shot tomorrow, and it'd be stiff. Yeah, because of the spin deviation. Yeah. Totally. totally. So like, this, people this is that... why from your distance there, you're gonna see. PGA Tour dispersion down like a train track width. Yeah. But that far past and that far short. Yeah. You're, you're, like you're, you're relying a, quite a lot. Of, like obviously there's skill involved, but like there being a blade of grass there or not is like here to yep. there possibly, isn't it? Which is why no one masters it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You have your tigers and your jacks dominate, but that's just because they were longer than everyone else. Yeah. With straightness. For one up then. <laughs> <laughs> one up, one to go. Oh, he's Thank old. Very much. He is old. I've bowled a lot of putts today. Have you? And, uh, like I seem to have. I, I think I've only two putted twice. Yeah. Very good. So that's uh, the stay all square with 18 to go. Clubhouse is in play. No. Oh. oh, yes, please. Yes, please, putter. Oh. Front line them, front lining. As you can see why Bryson is trying to get, what were your yardage from the green there? Oh, 75. Yeah. Like, basically, all you, with what you're saying with your approaches there, if you get 75 right. yards from the green a lot, yeah. 
you're gonna hit enough close. And you did make a birdie from it because your chance you were closer than you would ever hit a seven iron. Yeah. Well, not ever, but most. Yeah. Um because if you're if like if everyone's if you're hundred and twelfth in approaches from seventy-five to hundred yards, say. Yeah. And a hundred and twelfth from two hundred to two two five. Oh, yeah. Like the difference between that 225 and 200 to the shorter distance is loads more, isn't it? Of course it is. Like if you were to improve your 75 to 100 yardage by... You're basically you going go to struggle... To, go to 50th, you're not gaining as much if you were to go to 50th from the 200, yeah. are you? Like, and it's easier. Yeah, yeah. Because like, you know, the 75 yardage people watching this video there's a percentage of them who yeah. have a chance of being tour averages there yeah yeah it's easier but hitting a free wood into a green at 200 yeah. yards compared to a seven iron so or a six iron you haven't got a chance no matter how good you are with your yeah. free wood you're not going to be if you're bombing it and average from chipping in from 75 yards you need to be and confident re and really good from 200 then you're just winning aren't you yeah you need to be competent from the, uh, like I need to be competent from two foot. Yeah. Because everyone's old, I can't excel, yeah, yeah. everyone's older them. Yeah. I need to be in the pack. Yeah. And then it's like, until you get further away, it's the same tiny gains. Mm. Ah, wind off the left is not nice here, is it? <laughs> no. This is where being short will out, because I don't even see reaching anything. Lasered it. I thinned it, unfortunately, but I like direction. It's not a long hole. Laser ball. It's just a healy little low fin. He deliberately did that. No, I went get for it. Get it in still. play and get the win. <laughs> no, I didn't. Like, I went for it, but that's what happens. Golf field. My strike varies a bit. We all know what you're doing. <laughs> <I didn't. laughs> yeah. So didn't. I still tried to hit that. Oh, you've got the driver and you don't need it, I don't think. Stay there. That's going to catch the tree line, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> I think that could be all right, actually. Yeah, there is a bit of room. Yeah, there is room there. Oh, there's been incidents, Matt. What, you've hit a fairway for once? Fairway and ahead of you. Like the tree... Yeah, you wish. You'd run it there. Right, he's got 112 middle, pin looks middle front. So, play a 112, but just past the pin, right the left part. I'm going to play a 112, 52 thumper, like the last. All up and get... Yeah, it's good. It's just released on with a rough landing, but because uh, he come from the rough, look at it roll on. Hard to tell through the viewfinder. It just had no stop on it out the rough. This this green slopes heavily left to right. 98 front, 112 middle. A 110 shot. Is that pin front middle or middle? Uh, it looks front to me. Yeah. It looked like it on the yardage that I zapped too. Yeah. So from the ball, 108 middle, 92 front. It's a nice 52, I don't need to hit this hard at all. Hit like a 100 yard shot. Won't be long. Looks good. Oh, a bit long. Yeah, a bit long. Good shot though, downhill putt. Yeah. Struck, struck it nice, just too hard. Definitely need to work on my wedge distances. Right, Matt just rolled on because he's coming straight down the hill. I'm quite happy with mine. It's got to be 15, 18 foot, 20 foot most. That's decent from 100 yards out. Big swing. Oh, that's a nasty. Are we leaving nasties there? I think we should, shouldn't we? Oh. <laughs> right, this is for the win. 
That is for the win. This is for the mighty win against the mighty long ball. I, I just drove a couple of times. Tipped it round today. Yeah? Tipped it round today. A few irons off the tee. This is probably my first shot past the flag proper. Yeah. One in now uh, Remini Old. Mine's not a gimme, yours is a... Wow. Do you want to go halves? Yeah, we'll go halves. Come on, let's go halves. I'll give you yours. Rob's yeah. going to give you yours anyway. I'll be honest with you. There you go, mate. Beat. Excellent Good play. Yeah. Definitely your long lefts. My wedges need a little bit more help. Your long lefts gone could make a big difference. Yeah, and a bit of wedge practice again. Yeah, well that'll come back with time. But your long left getting rid of them would make you not have to panic. Yeah, I think that that's my main goal, yeah. really. Yeah, good stuff.